It is time for another round of Is This Offensive? The thing we're talking about today is a picture that Adele put on her Instagram to celebrate the Notting Hill Carnival Festival that would have been happening right now. She's wearing a, a Jamaican flag tiny bikini. She's got a chunky gold uh, necklace. And her hair is done in Bantu knots, which are tr traditionally uh, an African uh, hairstyle. Is this offensive? I am not in a position to say whether or not it's offensive. However, Deeper Prashad is here, and Leah from Promo is actually in Jamaica right now. Is this offensive? Leah's got to start this one. She's in the field. She's field reporting, so she probably has a better all overall picture right now. Doing some hardcore investigation for you guys right <laughs> yes. now. But let me first off by saying. Wog Guan from the other side, <laughs> Deepa and Darren, okay? Because your girl really is in Jamaica and you are talking to the right one. Um, yeah. So this actually is uh, being talked about all over in Jamaica as well. And let me tell you something, offensive? No. Celebrate it? Absolutely. We love this. If you're, if there's any, if there's any admiration or celebration about our culture, Jamaica, we're here for it. We're loving it. As long as you're not mocking us, as long as you're not making fun of us, as long as, as it's in good faith and your intention is to celebrate, we're loving it. We love what Adele's doing. We are spreading it. We're actually posting it ourselves being like, you done good girl. But Deepa, why are people finding this offensive then? I don't know if they actually understood the context of the photo that Adele actually posted. I don't know if they think she just randomly put that <laughs> outfit on and did her hair like that, just went out for a day. And then they're like, Adele, what the hell are you doing? Um, but like, she clearly states in the caption that she's doing it in celebration of the carnival, which would have been happening now. And she obviously misses it. She's obviously a participant in it. But because look, we have Toronto Caribbean Carnival here, right? And people of all walks of life, different cultures come out, they dress in similar outfits and they celebrate Caribbean culture. And I think that is a great way to show that you have respect for other people's cultures and you want to learn about it. Um, yeah, I was reading through um, some of the comments and someone was like, oh, this literally just screams cultural appropriation. Someone said, look, I highly suggest doing some research about the issues in America around white women donning black hairstyles. That's why black people are so upset because we're literally being kicked out of school work television for wearing Bantu knots braids. So I guess in that sense, people are like, she's she's now starting to maybe quote popularized hairstyle that um, she shouldn't necessarily be donning at this point. Okay, what about that, Leah? Because I've, I've also read that where, um, as a white woman, she can wear any hairstyle she wants as fashion. However, we've seen it, uh, black women discriminated based on mm -hmm. uh, the hair that they wear. So where does this fall? Well, you guys make a good point. There's actually a law um, about hair discrimination, um, specifically in the United States. And I understand that because there's certain styles which we've created um, specifically for style, but also for protective purposes. I mean, right now I'm donning braids. Um, not just for the style, but it actually helps my hair. Basically, um, we can be discriminated against for this hair. It could be deemed as unkempt, um, messy, and um, just ghetto in general. But when, you know, people of other cultures, non-Black people wear it, it's considered stylish and even trend-setting. I mean, Kim Kardashian had a situation in 2018 where she was donning braids. She gave um, a credit to Bo Derek for those braids, which we know is a white woman from the 70s. Oh, great. Which is kind of crazy. So she, she caught heat for that, and I can understand that. But in this circumstance, in this situation, it's a little different because there's context here. This was all based on intent, and her intent was pure, not malicious, not mocking. And that's what I can say about that. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, by the way, I can't speak on behalf of all black people, all Jamaican people, all Caribbean people. I can only speak on behalf of myself. I'm not offended whatsoever. I actually kind of appreciate it. So yeah, kind of like what Leah said too. It's so hard to, to speak on behalf of all Caribbean people and really give like a yes or no answer to this, but I think it was great. And she looked really good too. I was like, I wish I could look like that, but I definitely okay. cannot. So I was happy to see her <laughs> post the thing and celebrate. And specifically her wearing the Jamaican flag yes! on, on her top. We love that. I mean, Jamaica has so much to offer, right? Like. Jamaica is celebrated in so many ways and there's a reason for it, right? Like our culture is so strong. Deepa, I was very lucky last year. I got to go to Jamaica with Leah and party with <gasps> her parents in really Jamaica, legit. It was awesome. What? Yeah. Yep. They asked about you, Darren. They're wondering why you're not here with me right now. I love your parents because the company wouldn't pay for me to go down. That's why.